Hi everyone, um, day 11 and it's my second day in the in the retreat uh, for embodied performance um, that I signed up for and it's just connecting me to places that I've left long ago and it's extremely uncomfortable so my whole journey to visibility has been gradual first I started putting my words out there nobody had to see me then slowly but surely I would come on video and that was you know a little bit pushing my edge a little bit um, kind of I was doing it at my own pace with sometimes just making commitments to myself to myself making promises to myself that would require me to step out of my comfort zone and I have to say that I got to the point where I'm quite comfortable in my life I'm comfortable in my life with my husband I'm comfortable with my life in my work and yet the human nature is interesting because as I as I've constructed the life around me in comfort it opens capacity to to seek other things and to open to other things and to kind of explore other things it gives me enough of curiosity and daring to pursue new things so here I am <laughs> signed up for this weekend um, and it just is so incredibly triggering because it's a lot of you know the performance and witnessing and performance and witnessing and and um, as we were breaking up for lunch I saw that they are starting to set up a stage and I'm just so scared <laughs> I have no idea what's gonna happen this afternoon but I'm so scared that I, I might actually have to be on stage to do something and it's just like you know again people yeah sure they're not completely unknown I met them yesterday but still it's it's strangers and and it's just um, I'm feeling very uncomfortable and I think it's interesting to just observe right I'm like trying not to make any decisions I mean yes there is a voice like oh my god why did I do this I was so comfortable and I was so good in my life like could have been just walking in Central Park now doing my favorite things um, and yet you know I I signed up for this I signed up for this I understood there was something that called me here there was something that guided me here and so I find myself today kind of hesitating between or pendulating between regret for not being in the sweet comfort of my life like I almost miss my husband because it just like I realize how easy it is with him most of the time and it's just like so comfy and safe and I could just do whatever I want and be myself and everything and um, you know I have a lot of challenges in my work in that I'm constantly you know in leadership role and I am facing the unknown of meeting each client each conversation in the place that is spontaneous and then having you know connection to my you know wisdom and to my skill to respond in the moment so so yeah but here you know again I signed up for this there is a reason why I'm here there is something that I responded to it was a very easy decision to do that I was excited by it I was excited to be with new people I was excited to be able to be seen you know in reality and um, so whatever challenge I will be faced with this afternoon I will go through it I will live through it it may not be fully enjoyable but I'll do it um, and again just like the point of the exercise the point of the retreat for which I signed up is how can we remain in the body because most of us 
do what we do on automatic, right? Um, we either freeze and like a performer, like the, the me who is performing the mask is like the avatar that I show to the outside world is the one who usually delivers it. Whereas what I am interested in is how can I be actually present? And this is what happens a lot in my work, you know, over Zoom. And I'm more and more interested in how can I be in whatever situation comes up and remain in my body, feeling the charge and like allowing it and being with it and finding ways to pendulate so that I, I don't get overwhelmed. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's challenging. <laughs> I'm so in the, you know, in the anticipation of what's going to come this afternoon that it's difficult to even realize, you know, kind of also talk about the fact that <clears throat> last night was celebrated my birthday and I was with two out of three of my girls and it, I felt good. It was a lovely atmosphere. I was, I'm in such a different space than I was in these last 10 years for my birthdays. My birthdays were always a little bit of a, either it was sadness and confusion or it was trying to prove a point to somebody and like, you know, being a rebel. And this year I'm so at ease with being me. That's the most important kind of insight of current experiences. I'm at ease with being me. So then if I feel that I'm at ease with being me, how can I bring that ease with me this afternoon into the unknown, whatever is going to happen this afternoon in my retreat, and allow myself to be seen by other people, feeling all the feelings, and just, you know, and just being with it, right? If I'm at ease with being me, then how can I translate that to every aspect of my life, not just the aspects that are familiar? Yeah, that's probably the, the essence of what I'm talking about today. How can I be at ease with being me in every situation, including the unknown? Um, and it doesn't mean that it needs to always be easy. I think it's just like the, the being, the capacity to be with all of it, even if it's difficult, even if it's not easy. It's like, oh, okay, body, you're experiencing this. Okay, I'm here for it. And then also have tools. What can I do to make this process more manageable for my whole system? So this is where I am today. Tomorrow is Monday and um, we'll probably have to rest a lot and integrate everything that's been happening this weekend all right everyone see you tomorrow